Peace, peace, beautiful beings, and welcome back to my channel. This is Coach V here with another mental health hack that I still use today. My mental health hack is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean upon your own understanding. In all your ways, take notice of him and he himself will make your path straight. What that scripture says to me is this. Whenever I get frustrated or unsure or uncertain about a particular direction that I need to go in, or how am I going to pay this particular bill? Or if I'm having a health challenge, whenever I get stressed and overwhelmed and worried and anxious about anything, I take a few deep breaths and remind myself that the only reason why I'm emotionally and mentally in disarray is simply because I am trying to figure it out on my own own. I'm trying to connect all the pieces. I'm trying to think five steps ahead. I'm trying to figure out this and this. I'm thinking I got to rob Peter to pay Paul. I only have those negative harried emotions because I'm trying to figure out something on my own. When I take comfort in that particular scripture, it reminds me that there is a higher power, a higher source that always has my back. And so when I decide to have faith and trust that I'm protected, covered, and guided, there's a peace that surpasses all understanding that washes over me. I don't care what you call your higher power, Jehovah, God, Yahweh, Allah, Buddha, whatever works for you, works for you. I'm just here offering for you that whatever that higher power that you are referring to, that you believe in, you have to have faith that you trust and follow the path that was set before you, that everything will always work out in your favor. You can't have faith and worry. You can't have faith and be anxious. You can't have faith and be fearful. You can't have faith and be confused. Pick one. And one of the mental health hacks that I use today is I choose faith. I choose that I am always safe, divinely protected and guided. And because of that belief right there, I support and protect my mental health because I'm not sitting around frustrated, worried, anxious, feeling unsure, feeling confused. And in the moments that those dots, that those thoughts creep up, I already have a system in place mentally that is counteracted or there's a defense mechanism that kicks in and reminds me of Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. I know it seems simple, but try it. It takes a lot of practice to believe and trust in inspired words, to choose to believe that that higher power has my best interest to choose to believe that even though I can't see the answer in front of me right now in this moment, that everything always works out for my highest good. To take it a step further, I receive and understand that my highest good is not always what I think should be my highest good. That the solution I think is best for the situation is not always the best solution to the situation. So it's a constant effort to choose to mentally trust in the Lord with all my heart and to not lean upon my own understanding. Another extra boost that I get in these scenarios is that I have receipts, as they say, for 
times in the past that I've worried about something or that I couldn't see a solution and I prayed about it, I meditated about it and I let it go and I exercised my faith muscle and not my worry muscle. And there hasn't been a time where a situation had not worked out for my higher good. So when I get discouraged and sometimes I need an extra boost to that scripture, I go back in my own archives and my own receipts and I remember the times where I was faced with a major situation and it always, always, always absolutely worked out in my favor. Again, remembering that the solution that was best for me is not always the solution that I thought I should have had. So, here's one of my mental health hacks that I use to this day. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you are one of the first persons to be notified when I upload new content. You can look forward to other alternative and holistic mental health and healing techniques, mental health hacks that I still use to this day, and also the meaning of angel numbers. If you have any particular questions about this video, leave it down in the comments, and I will be happy to make a video just for you. I am Coach V, and remember that I say that mental health is sexy, and I need your help in spreading my message worldwide. If you would like a resource, to help you begin to renew your mind and take charge of your mental health, I just wrote a book that's available on Amazon entitled Renew Your Mind, Take Charge of Your Mental Health, Eight Alternative Ways to Improve Your Quality of Life. And I will put the link in the description to both the ebook and the paperback because they are on sale the entire month of February and honor a Black History Month. Please share this video with anyone who you think can need, can use some encouragement <laughs> or that can resonate with the information that I have shared with you here today. Thank you so very much for tuning in and visiting my channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Be blessed.